Okay friends, in this short video let us talk about uh, tumor antigens. Now what are tumor antigens? Tumor antigens are those protein or polypeptide molecules. Most of the case they are polypeptide molecules that are unique uh, to tumor cells or that are the identification or indication of tumor cells. So let me change the color. Uh, let's take uh, blue here. Okay. So they are the identification uh, for the tumor cells, right? an indication of the tumor cells. So, so there are some antigenic molecules that are present and found only on the tumor surface. So they can be specific to tumor cells or they cannot be, they may not be specific. They must be some associated factors. Okay. But they must be the indicator, indicator fact, factors or indication factors. Okay. So that is the important part. Now there can be specific type, there can be associate type. Now all of them, for example, the tumor specific transplantation antigens are those which are completely unique to tumor cells. That means this TSTA or tumor specific transplantation antigen can only found in tumor cells. It can only be expressed onto the surface of tumor cells. Okay. But on the other hand, these tumor associated factors are not unique to tumor cells, but they are the indication. I have told you they are the indication of tumor cells. As they are the indication of tumor cells and they are uh, that's why they are called the uh, tumor, tumor antigens or transplantation antigens, but they can be specific or non-specific, right? If they are specific, they will be called TSTA. If they are non-specific, they will be called TATA, okay? Okay. Now, for tumor associated transplantation antigen or TATA, this type of antigen can be found in normal cells, mind you, can be found on, on normal cells, but the expression of these TATAs are maximum in the surface of tumor cells. That is the important part. But in case of tumor specific transplantation antigen or TSTA, they can only be found in onto the surface of tumor cells. That's the difference between TSTA and TATA. Now, how these uh, antigens are processed and bring to the surface of the cell using MHC class 1 molecule. Remember the process of antigen presentation using MHC molecule. So they took MHC molecule and this MHC. Uh, uh, hand or chain is ready and they also chop out there some of the proteins inside to generate short polypeptide sequences which will be held together by this MHC1 and it will be uh, holding on to the surface of the cell. So if this is the surface of the cell and this red thing is the MHC uh, molecule so onto the surface of this MHC molecule there should be the polypeptide chain bound. That's how they present their antigens. Now let's see here. In this picture that is cl clearly illustrated that this is a normal cell for example. Now this normal cell is having nucleus, is having the uh, gene sequence and uh, they will be translated to proteins. So usually they produce two different type of protein. One is blue, one is uh, red. So both of them are of the self-peptide as you can see here. They are present, they are made and presented using class 1 MHC molecule onto the surface of normal cell. Now what happens, they can emerge or they can generate uh, tumor specific antigens and how can they generate this uh, transplantation antigens they are of two type TSTA and TATA so let me talk about TSTA part which are the specific uh, for tumor cells now for some of the cells if these normal cells are transferred uh, into the tumor cells now there should be some change in the machinery inside for example due to any kind of gene incorporation or gene deletion, duplication, any kind of gene uh, misincorporation or substitution, whatever, in any kind of gene modification uh, for this normal cell, it can convert this normal gene into a bad gene. Now, this bad gene is colored here with this pink or, or bright red color from this dark red. Okay, so this bright red color from this dark red color is uh, suggesting us the modification of gene inside this normal cell due to any kind of external agents agents like environmental factors it could be viral mediated factors as well as there can be uh, radiation factors that can change this gene that can change this dark red color normal gene into the modified bright red color gene as a result of that what we get we get uh, differential uh, expression of the protein in normal cells we are having expression of dark red protein and uh, blue protein but now in this case we are having blue protein expressed but instead of this dark red protein we are expressing bright red now this protein is not it, it is it is also self peptide but it is altered self peptide right because this alteration is bring about by the effect of some agent which is acting from outside right so this is a kind of event that triggers this process 
okay now on the other hand uh, it can have another effect that uh, suppose there should be no, no any kind of modification of this gene is not there so no modification in the gene normal gene so instead of that what we are having we are having expression of a new gene a completely new gene is start to express previously normal cell that was not expressing but now a new gene uh, denoted with this black color start to express now as a result of that what we got here after some time we have expression of a completely new protein which is this black colored protein right so in previous time we are having two proteins blue and dark red but now along with them we are having this black colored protein so we are having expression of a completely new type of protein outside now this type of protein so remember in this case in the previous case what we have seen the normal cell is expressing this peptides but on the altered cell we are having completely different expression of proteins so in this case we've called this as a complete mutation or due to any kind of mutation change we call it a transformation from normal cell into the cancerous cells so we can mark this cell as a cancerous cell because it is having alteration in the protein expression but in this case what we've seen due to the expression of a new protein we are having the previous proteins conserved now it is simple new protein expressed along with this old proteins okay so in this case what we have seen in normal cell we are having this blue and red protein but in altered cell also we are having this blue and red protein along with that we are having a new protein right so this type of antigens are called this this new black type of this type of antigen are called tat or tumor associated transplantation antigens okay now remember i have told you that this tumor specific uh, tumor or uh, Associated transplantation antigen or TATA are those type of antigens which are not unique to tumor cells. The, it doesn't mean that this particular uh, protein must be present in tumor cells. But what we can see in normal cell also we are finding these proteins. But here it is a simple change in the expression in this protein. Okay. On the other hand, this is the third kind of modification. Now in this modification what we are seeing due to any kind of uh, failing in the control of gene expression in some way. Suppose there are genes, there are proteins that are found in our body, in, inside our cell, which regulates the expression of a typical genes. Also, they are called the transcription factors. Now, due to the modification of those transcription factors, what it ends up with, it ends up with the upregulation of synthesis of particular type of protein. For example, here we have seen due to any kind of modification of this transcriptional regulation or translational regulation, but we get a lot of dark red colored protein instead of a one. So as a result of that, we are having same type of proteins. We are having the self type of this blue peptide as well as dark red peptide. But instead of having one is to one ratio, we are having many more this of this red self peptide. So as a result, this is again over expression of a normal protein. Right? So we cannot directly call this as a cancer cell by just looking at it because we are having the similar things but having over expression of that. Right? So this is also called TAT or tumors associated transplantation antigen so in tumor associated transplantation antigen they are not unique to cancer cells because we can find them in normal cells too but in case of this tst or tumor specific transplantation antigen they can, they are specific for the tumor cells okay now in the second kind of case what, what the peptide that we have shown is seen is called the oncofetal peptide we'll be learning detail about oncofetal peptide uh, in later videos Okay, and uh, this inappropriate expression of embryonic gene can be seen during the development of fetus. That's why they are called oncofetal peptide. Okay, so these are the ways of generation of TST and TATA. But in all the cases, the processing of this uh, self peptide, chopping it out and holding it onto the surface of the cell is mediated by class 1 MAC molecule. Okay, so that's it and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.